In this episode, bag hacks. If you're one of those people that loses your keys in your bag, like this. One eternity later. Ah. So as you can see, sometimes it's quite a hassle to find your keys. So the simple solution is to just grab a paper clip, pull one arm out just like that, and then with a hot glue gun, I just simply make a little bolly to put on the end of the paper clip like this. Repeat the same thing on the other end of the paper clip. So I've created my little bally things and what the glue does, it actually prevents the paper clip from scratching the inside of your bag. And now all you have to do is place your paper clip onto a side pocket of some sort, grab your keys and then slide it on the hook. This way your keys will never get lost. So I give my bag a shake and then you can see that my keys are always there. Easy peasy, baby. Huh? Well. So you know how when you're carrying heavy things in your bag and the base of your bag looks a little too saggy and out of shape? Well, I'm gonna show you just how to fix that. So first thing you wanna do is take the stuff out of the bag. Then I'm just gonna fold the base down so that I can see the shape of my base. Then I just simply grab my board, place it over, the base of my bag and mark where the base of your bag is. Now I just cut it like so. So I've got my base, I just simply slide it into my bag and there you have it, a base for your bag. So now your bag will no longer sag when you have heavy things in it. The base of my bag is gonna sag no more. Now, if your drawstring has come loose on your bag, it can be a real pain in the buttocks to thread it back. So a simple solution is to actually just put a bobby pin or a safety pin at the end of your string or cord and just slowly thread it through the whole of your bag like this. This way, it makes it easier to thread through the whole of your bag. My string has come out the other side. And now just take that off, grab the two ends, and there you go. My drawstring bag is back to its natural state. Seriously, it's like my mouth and my brain not connected. <laughs> Someone cut the wire somewhere in between. Now we all know our gym bags can get rather stinky, right? Well, there's a quick solution. Just simply grab a dryer sheet and throw it in your bag. Let's zip that up and leave it there for a while, shall we? And there you go. Now your bag is going to be smelling nice and fresh. And once it stops smelling nice, just simply exchange it for a nice fresh one. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I totally did not inhale. <laughs> I'm not gonna inhale someone else's gym bag. Hello? You think what? This <laughs> is just way, way a bit, shall we? Whew. Mmm, <laughs> it smells nice and fresh. Well, at least fresher than it used to. <laughs> now, if you have a sling bag with a sling handle that is just too long, here's a simple hack for you to shorten it. So all you have to do is open your flap like this, crisscross your sling, just like so, put your flap back over, Buckle it up, of course, you know, to make it sweet, sweet. And just like that, you have a shortened bag and it looks fabulous. This is also great if you want to change up your look from a sling bag to a purse. This hack is also useful when you're traveling. You know when you pack your bag and everything kind of gets squashed and then sometimes your leather goods gets creases in it? Well, there is a solution, guys. Just stuff it up with your clothes. So now when you pack your bag in your suitcase, it's not going to get so squashed and create creases and damage your bag. So there you go. Voila. Now some of you may face this classic problem with your bag, where it tends to sag from its original shape. The hack for that is to actually do the same thing. Just fill it up with some old t-shirts and stuff. So now with the t-shirts in there, it's going to keep its original shape. 
one of my classic favourite bag hacks. It's original. Now if you get annoyed with your backpack sagging just like this, why not try this hack? I got some chopping boards from Daiso for just $2. Now you don't have to use chopping boards, you can use cardboard or you know anything that's kind of stiff. I'm just putting my chopping board inside my bag, I zip it up and as you can see now it's standing nice and tall with no sagginess. <laughs> So you know how sometimes when you're in a rush in the morning and you want to change your bag to match your outfit and it's kind of troublesome to transfer everything from one bag to another? Well, people, there is a solution. It is a bag organiser. That way you can keep all your stuff together and you can transfer your things from one bag to another. So say for example, I want to wear black and I have a black bag. So I put all my things inside my black bag. Oh, you know, sometimes you may feel a little bit casual and put all your things in a YouTube bag, just like that. Huh? And we've come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com. We've got some stuff up on sale, so go check it out before it all sells out. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this episode, subscribe, baby, and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you could just simply download the free Click Network app to watch the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.